Nice weather again today. I'm actually wondering why there's more people outside because it's not a holiday or anything today. And what did I read today? A new, I guess, competitor in the drone market? Or is it, I guess? Apparently, there's this company that announced some new drone products called Anzu Robotics. Actually, the first thing I was thinking is, is this related to Autel Robotics? And funny enough, apparently, I guess one of the founders, CEO, whatever you want to say, the person that runs the company, actually was working for Autel for, I guess, a short while, but he quit pretty quickly. So I guess this is his new company. So what is it here? It's this Raptor series drone. And as you can see, their drones are colored, I guess, green. Every company needs to stand out in some way, I guess. And it says, what is Anzi Robotics in terms of this company? It says, Anzi Robotics is an American owned and operated commercial drone manufacturer with its headquarters in Austin, Texas. After more than a year of negotiations and development, Anzi Robotics launched its first platforms, the Raptor and Raptor T in April of 2024. And Zero Robotics differentiates its products not only through software innovation in conjunction with its development partner, Aloft, but offering world-leading drone technology manufactured in Malaysia while maintaining attainable pricing. We focus heavily on security of our users' data and encourage you to visit our security page for more details. So it sounds like a pitch for everyone concerned about things like DJI drones, for example, which I will get into a minute, I guess. But you can see in terms of their offerings, they're offering two types of drones at the moment. One is a drone, it seems like they're both actually meant for enterprise purposes, but one of them has like a thermal camera. And they say here, the Raptor T drone from Anzu Robotics offers industry leading features to help make your missions more efficient, safer, and more secure. From flight time to portability, the Raptor T is the ultimate tool for public safety officers, mapping professionals, and more. So obviously meant more for things like, for example, commercial use and all that. Now, some of the features, for example, it seems like it has the same type of camera setup as the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise drones, 56 times, for example, hybrid zoom. You can see the controller, again, that looks like the smart controller and all that. And in terms of the price, depending on which model you want, the first one from the looks of it is $5,099. And I guess the T version is $7,599. Okay, so what's the big difference between this and the DJI? I guess one of the things is they say no geofence on this drone, which is, in my opinion, the worst thing about DJI drones is you have to, quote, get their approval, give them your personal information and all that many times to unlock lights in zones that don't necessarily, for example, match local laws and so forth. So apparently that is one of the things for this drone. Because as they say here, are the Raptor series drones subject to geofencing? It says, no, we do not impose airspace restrictions like geofencing. We firmly believe that compliance with regulations and responsible drone usage lies with the user, which is why Anzu Robotics drones do not have any geofencing enabled. Prior to flying, it is essential for all users to confirm their awareness and adherence to pertinent laws. Our air control app, powered by Aloft, actively promotes compliance by aiding users in obtaining airspace approvals and maintaining records of all active approvals. So, in general, it sounds like it would be a good comparator to, let's just say, DJI and all that, but with that said, this thing looks exactly like the Mavic 3 Enterprise, minus things like the branding and the color. Like you look at the specs and stuff with the Mavic 3 Enterprise, the way it looks, the controllers, the add-ons and all that. Come on, you have to say this pretty much is like a DJI drone, correct? But they say, for example, it's made in Malaysia and all that. It's kind of like that other company, if you guys remember. With the old one looks almost exactly like one of their air drones. So is this a way for I guess DJI to offer things like their hardware and so forth in the event that they get banned in the US, which seems like a potential possibility at this moment. But either way, I guess with that in mind though, would you buy this product if you knew, for example, this is like a rebranded DJI drone with no geofence and all that? I think that's actually a big selling point for a lot of people actually. At the same time, in terms of legality, if it is true anyways, this is some, for example, paperwork and all that just to avoid any type of let's just say sanctions or bans can this company actually do this where if at the end of the day it traces back let's just say to dgi would a country like the u.s still say nope you are still banned and all that so it's kind of fascinating with this i guess launch anyways and apparently they're focusing in the u.s and canada by the sounds of it 
And without thought of things like enterprise drones and all that, and official is using it, and apparently more people are using it for things, for example, to catch things like potential criminals and all that. This one here says, Council turns a drone to catch fly tippers. A drone is being used to help prosecute fly tippers in Harold's Fortshire. Harold's Fortshire Council's community protection team has already used the technology to gather evidence of fly tipping in remote spots which are not clearly seen at the ground level. The drone, which is operated by a fully trained and accredited pilot, collects high quality footage which will be used to assist in the prosecution of any person carrying out environmental crime, the authorities said. It is important we protect our outstanding natural environment and we will use all the technology we can to do this, said Barry Durkin, cabinet member for the Roads and Regulatory Services. Yeah, that's expected in my opinion and it's just kind of interesting again it's mostly officials using it i guess you can say to quote spy on people and all that which was originally the concern for people like recreational flyers and all that and like it says eye in the sky mr durkin said the new drones was already proving to be a valuable tool helping the team investigate reports of waste being dumped illegally so our message is clear to anyone thinking they can dispose of waste or carry out any illegal activities in any area where they think that it will go undetected we will not hesitate to use our eye in the sky to protect Herefordshire, he said. The drone was purchased through a government grant for projects to help protect the environment. Actually, by the looks of it, with a picture anyways, it looks like a mini drone. Would these people be better off with those enterprise solutions and all that too? But yeah, more officials using drones in these ways. See you guys later.